All right, everybody. This is Kelly Weems with The Kelly Weems Show and your home TV. And we are live right here in Las Vegas on Radio Row because of it's the Super Bowl in just a couple of days. But I'm live right here with this guy, amazing, <laughs> Ryan Ochoa. Uh, I know a bunch of you know him because I grew up watching him. Well, you know, I grew up with my kids watching him. We all watched him. Um, so we're going to be talking to him in just a little bit about his acting career, everything he's doing now, and why he's actually here for Super Bowl week. Exactly. So stay tuned. Tune Ryan, in. You ready? Get ready. All right. We're going to get a commercial break right now. Just a minute from one of our sponsors. Here we go. Serendipity Yacht Cruises and Events wants you to come party with us in 2024. Mark your calendar for Saturday, May 4th, because we're calling all Star Wars fans with a costume contest and an awesome Star Wars prize. Then on Saturday, August 10th, it's a Hollywood night of dreams with music, games, contests, and surprises. Both parties will be at the beautiful South Shore Harbor Resort with amazing food, fun activities, live entertainment, and a cash bar, plus some additional surprises. Saturday, May 4th, and Saturday, August 10th. Come party with us. S-Y-C-E. More than a yacht, it's serendipity. And we're back. <laughs> All right, I'm live with the amazing Ryan Ochoa. Ryan, what is up? What is going on? Well, I mean, first <laughs> off, can I just thank you for having me? The way this introduction happened about 10 minutes ago, five minutes ago, I don't know, was wonderful. I was doing another interview and just got, hey, can you come over? And, of course. Oh, exactly. I, I did want to talk to Kelly Williams. Of yeah. course. I mean, didn't everybody then? Of course. Yeah. I saw the cool jackets in it that everyone was wearing, and I'm like, why don't I have one? Yeah, well, I think we need to ship you one. I, sounds good. Yeah, I think so, it's, too. Well, it's cold outside, <laughs> and I wore a T-shirt. I know, but it is kind of velvety and cool. It is. It's yeah. kind of keeping me a little warm. So I, like I like it. I like it. We're going to pick that up. Just another but anyway, thank you for having me on. Yeah. I'm so excited. Thank you for it's stopping so by. Seriously, we, we appreciate it because, okay, guys, if you recognize his precious face, um, even without is, the beard. Even without, without the, beard, the beard. That's right. Mom got mad at me. Shout out to my mom. I love you, mama. <laughs> I Carly. I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I Carly. He's been on Disney, Nickelodeon, all kind of things. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. Okay, so, Ryan, really quickly, how early did you start in acting? Great question. Um, so... I, I, it's always a, it's like a double answer. For sometimes, if I'm you know feeling you know spicy, I'll tell people I started when I was five because I did a modeling gig. Yes, exactly. when I Which was is five years old. Actually, correct. In San Diego, there you born go. and raised. Yeah. Oh my goodness. But we moved to LA yeah. when I was about to be seven, and I booked my very first commercial when I was seven years old. My the first. Commercial. My first national commercial was for Greyhound. Oh, my goodness. The bus. Yeah. The and bus. I love this. So, technically, we say seven years old or, you know. Uh, yeah, it's kind of it kind of varies. I don't know. But yeah. within, I, I've been doing it my whole life. That's all I know. You, you have. And I, know it, I don't know anything else. No, and I, and I have a question because this is a really interesting to get to have you on the show today and talk about this before yeah. we kind of move on to what you've done and what you're doing. What did you... What was it like to grow up as a child actor? Because, you know, everybody, you know, most people, they see the E! Hollywood stories on these horrible things. Oh, yeah. You seem to be this amazing, productive, wonderful, of course, um, faith-based young man who's doing very well for himself. And you're, you're normal. The so, fact that you say this is you know, it's pretty, it's pretty mind-blowing to me that... I don't know if you've been following me outside of just like today, but that's really the person that I, you know, am. Yeah. So I feel like maybe it's just like, you know, what I present or, you know, I don't know. But yes, when you said the word productive, yeah. I feel like that word definitely describes me Absolutely. because I never go a day without doing something yeah. productive that moves the needle. I love that. Um, whether it's writing a song, posting on social media, you know, in, I mean, my quote, I, I have two quotes. One is dream, wish, believe. That's what everyone knows. Yeah. I'll say that at the end of the interview. I love that. But my quote in my all my bios is, if I can inspire just one person that I've accomplished my purpose. I feel like every day I am doing something to try to inspire at least one new person. 
love that. And I do that through music, through my acting, through my writing, through my music, through my videos, yeah. my social media. I mean, I post TikToks with my little sister yeah, to show that. that I'm a family guy. Yes. I have, me and my sister and my family are like this, you know, me and my that. brothers do music together. Yeah. We're a tight family. We're close. And we just want to give out good light in the world. Um, and I feel <laughs> I like we do that by, hey, even though we make music and sometimes it's fun music or yeah. sometimes we're talking, you know, uh, about girls or yeah. things like that. At the core of it all is family. We are absolutely, family. absolutely, and it's about love and bringing people together, and uh, that's why I, that's why I love what I do. That's why I love acting. That's why I love being in front of the camera I to tell it. stories to inspire people. Anyway, yeah. point being is growing up. I feel that I was given a platform to do that, and I don't think that maybe maybe who knows, but I don't think that. Uh, a lot of people realize that yeah. when they are 10 years old no. and presented with an opportunity to be on TV exactly. or to be in front of you know, other famous people or exactly. big producers that can help you yes. down the road. And I just, I'm, my goal is I just, I want to be friendly with everybody. Yeah. I want to make friends. I want to build relationships. And yeah. at the end of the day, out of all of this, what I'm going to want to get to is I want to build a legacy. I want yeah. to leave a legacy with, with my name and especially my brothers and my yeah. sister. I, I want that. my sister to grow up and, and people to look at her and say, oh yeah, like we know we know Destiny Ocho. Yeah. We know who yeah. her brothers are. Her, yeah. her brother Ryan, you know, like that's important to me and I don't think that you can do that if you are on these e-Hollywood stories. No, I agree. You know? and, and I want to ask you because you, you're you're so far a very impressive young man. How, how old are you? <laughs> well, I don't really tell my age, but I'm oh, that's right. I'm well, over I forget, 21 I just, I just with do the not beard. Tell their age. <laughs> well, well, they they do. I mean, they my, do? my age is out there, but if I actually say it, yeah, it some We're not people are like believe it. Oh, he can't play the 17 year old no, that see, I just wrote. Exactly. Yes, I can. See, Let me shave the beard and I'll that. prove it to so you. So you're 16. I'm 16. With an early beard. I'm 16 when you need me to be. <laughs> That's right. I am 30 when you need to be. Well, when you need and to the be. great thing about you, you have a baby. Fat. I mean, you literally can play any age. Yeah. This is shocking to me. Okay, my last you. role, well, not my last role, my next upcoming role, yes. I play like 25 in it. I have a full beard. I'm, I'm playing somebody that was famous for back in the day. Oh. Uh, about four years ago, I did a movie where I play a, a high school student. Yeah. And I see you can play on you know, You're I one play. of the very few people blessed to do that. Okay, well, I want to ask you a question that so many viewers who are going to be watching this or watching right now are going to want to know. When you, how old were you when you got the nod that you were on iCarly? How yeah. old were you? I was about to be 12 or I was 12. Amazing. I was, yeah. I mean, Y'all were all pretty young, weren't you? Yeah. All I, was, I was I'm trying to think of my first episode. Wow. Like, August. I think I, I just turned twelve. Wow. Okay. So I was twelve years. I wasn't even a teenager yet. No. And I was put on such a cool show. It gives in, me goosebumps just thinking. In, about incredible. It. One of the best. Really, one of the best shows ever. Um, if people had not watched iCarly and they can go back and watch it, what character were you? Uh, I played Chuck. Chuck Chambers. That's right. I yes. was. What I like to say is, is as simple as, and I was Spencer's nemesis. <laughs> I was Spencer's so funny rat nemesis. <laughs> Uh, and uh, what was what was really cool is Jerry and I ended up becoming really good friends. Oh, and, I love that. And uh, Jerry actually, every time I walked into a table read, and he would see me, I'll never forget this. This is probably a fun fact that you're exclusive. You're getting. He would always look to the producers, and he would just say, "It's gonna be a good week. Oh, it's gonna be a good week." He, I love we it. knew. When we were sharing an episode together, I love that. it was going to be a memorable episode. Oh, uh, see, that's yeah. really nice, isn't yeah. it? To walk into work oh and know you're It wasn't happy. work. No. It wasn't work. No, I, I was 12 that. years old. Amazing. I was 12 years old and I got to work with Amazing. the biggest of stars. You Amazing. Know? So that was Nickelodeon. What do you, now, you've done some stuff with Disney as well. So what happened stuff. was so is I did a bunch of episodes of iCarly, yes. but I was never under contract. Oh. Um, and so Disney... At the time, I mean, maybe I could say this, maybe not, but they were very competitive at the time. They were like, 
trying to do this, you know, yeah. similar shows, yeah. trying to, you know, compete with their talent. But I was never under contract with, with Nickelodeon. So Disney called me in for a role that I, I couldn't pass up. Yeah. It was literally, a, it's another fan favorite role. Um, and I played Lanny on Pair of Kings. Yeah. I was the evil cousin to the Twin Kings. <laughs> and uh, it was on Disney XD. It was called yeah. Pair of Kings. Yeah. And um, that was the time of my life. I mean, I, I look back. I mean, everyone, I always go on TikTok Live every Wednesday. It's actually yeah. Wednesday today. That's but, right. Um, Every Wednesday night, I go live on TikTok with my dad. Uh, we call it Lit Nation. It's a big party. But every Lit Nation, I tell everybody at the very end of the of the stream, my dad is the DJ, DJ Ziggy Bass. He uh, he plays Top of the World, the theme song to Pair of Kings. Oh, no, and every no, time it comes on, I tell everybody while it's in, we're singing the song, let's bring it on Top of the World. I always tell everybody, I will make sure that this show never never dies and that this show yeah. lives on forever I love because this is what I always tell people yeah. that was that was four years of my life that I will cherish forever yeah. I was a high, I was started in middle school on wow. working on the show wow and basically did the show all through high school you have to think about it like that's literally my high school experience I was gonna say was filming a show people forget that that is what that was your schooling and your that everything. was my schooling yeah. that was my life mm -hmm. and that was a time that I never want to forget, yeah, but also like, this is what people don't realize is that I was a kid. Yeah. I was literally a kid. Yeah. And when you think about a kid watching TV at home, this is the show that I loved watching, but I also was on the show, Yeah, you know? Amazing. So for me, looking back, it's like that show that I would have watched whether I was on it or not. Yeah. It, it, it really hits home for me that I'm so grateful, yeah. which is why it doesn't matter. The show was over 10 years ago. Yeah. I will always give back. Like I will all, exactly. Yeah. I will always be thankful. Love well, it. I Carly was like 15 years ago. That's, That's shocking why they brought it to back. me. Exactly. That's yeah. Why they brought it back. Absolutely. Um, but, what you, okay. Now, I, I, uh, before we get it, well, no, 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 I'm going to ask this at the end. I want, I want to see. Don't forget. Some, I'm not gonna forget. Don't forget. I'm not gonna forget. Um, thank you. Um, when you, when you, when your acting career was coming toward a little bit of an end or you know ending kind of thing, or you made a decision to to stop doing so much of it. Yeah. What did you get into? Well, I wouldn't say I never like stopped it. I would just say I wanted to transform. I mean, my well, career. that's right. That's right. You, uh, you which is different. No, I got. I get what you're you using mean. those talents, and you still do. I, I mean, you still do all that. I just took a little break yes. because I knew I couldn't be go. I couldn't be the Disney kid anymore. Yeah. That 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 kid that people watched. I yeah. needed I needed to be the leading man now. Yes. You know, I needed to do roles that people would see me in as an adult, Absolutely. not as the the funny little bratty kid yeah. or the evil kid. You know. Yeah. So anyway, but in the meantime, I started doing music with my brothers. Love it. Have y'all always played together and then just kind of finally said, okay, group, we're going to do this. We're going to do this for real now. Um, Yes and no. I mean, we would like dabble and yeah. stuff and do things like that, but it really kind of fell in our laps because we just wanted to do something together. Like yeah. I said, we were so close. We wrote a TV show together that we pitched oh that gosh. one day we're going to film. I love it. We pitched it to a bunch of networks. Yeah. They all loved it. Awesome. Um, but the truth is, I'll just say why it didn't happen. We were just young kids and the, the amount of control we would have had <laughs> yeah. as 15 years old, you know, being 15 for me, yeah. 16 for me, it would have never happened. Yeah. So that's why it didn't happen at the time. Yeah. But what could happen is, Hey, we're like, we could do music right now. So, so nice. we started doing music. Yeah, Our dad was, um, an artist well I wouldn't say an artist but he was a DJ back in the day now he's oh back gosh. but uh, my dad's grown up in music he wow. knows everything about music yeah. everything about producing but uh, we ended up basically work started doing music with our dad then we got introduced to a producer who we still work with to this day and uh, yeah we basically been doing we've done technically two albums but one of them is not out yet one yeah. of them is not out we just did it like performance songs very but yeah cool. we've been doing it for years and, and uh, we that. just released a, a single a couple weeks ago we're about to release our next single in the next few weeks and uh, yeah we're just crushing it we had fun and we feel this is the last thing on, on this 
topic. We feel when we started music, we were like, oh my gosh, we should, you know, be performing on big stages. Yeah. No, we shouldn't have. Yeah. We've been presented with opportunities and challenges and experiences over the years that we feel that now is that time. Is that, and God we always has a perfect we didn't know time. How to, yes, we didn't know how to perform yet. Yeah. We learned how to perform. Yeah. We didn't even know how to be in the studio as yeah, kids. Exactly. We were just making music, like make, doing making music, but yeah. we really didn't know what all of the stuff that comes with saying we make music. Yeah. Now we've been in the big studios. We've That's been on it. the big stages. We've been on, you know, the talk shows. We've done love this. It. We've done that. Now it's just a matter of when is that song going to hit? I love I mean? that. I love that. Okay, so I want to ask you, what do you think um, has been, did, did you ever face any hardships growing up, you know, in the Hollywood scene, which is hard anyway, maybe, but even though you were very blessed and loved, what you yeah. did, do you think you kind of had to overcome some hardships and, or, or what happened in your life or maybe, maybe what do you think helped you to become the person and so successful that you have stayed in that you have, that you are today. What that is, helped you? That's one. That's such a good question. Um, I'd say my family. Yeah. My parents and and uh, and God. Yeah. My faith. I, I I say I keep my faith like is so important to me, and I feel that like when you pray and there's somebody watching over you and you know that. You're, you want to make him proud. Absolutely. You know? And I feel like, I know, he's always watching. He's watching my every move. He's yeah. watching my every decision. Yeah. That's why I told you at the beginning, I don't curse. I you know, know I'll, I'll, yes. I'll slip up every now and then. <laughs> Everybody but does. <laughs> exactly. Like, foul language is not in my vocabulary yes. just to do. No. You know, I have a reputation. I want to be a good example for my followers. I love For that. the people that, you know, look up to me. Yeah. My sister, of course, like I said. I want her to look at me like, I hope to be, you know, not obviously like my brother, but she's like, when people recognize it, my brother, when people meet my brother, when people talk about my brother, yeah. there's something good to be said. Like, I want her to be proud to say, yeah, Ryan is my brother. And just little things that you may not think of, but it's why my faith is so important. It's why I love going to church. And yeah. It's why I'm so thankful for my mom and dad. My parents have been together since high school. And oh my still goodness! Together. I love that. You know that. they're just they're good role models. Yeah, and they're we very blessed. Very blessed. Yeah, and I know that. Exactly. Some people <laughs> may be blessed, but they don't realize yeah. that. Hey, this is it's as simple as this. Yeah. You get to wake up every day with lungs in your chest, breathing another day at life. Like those are things that you don't always just appreciate and are grateful for. Exactly. When I woke up today, I'm like. Gosh, I gotta get up at 5 a.m. again. Like, yeah. Oh, but I'm like, hey, at least I get to wake up. At least I get to go and That's meet right. wonderful people. I met Max Crosby today. He's literally love my favorite, that. my favorite player. Yeah, love you know, but literally that. my favorite player. I didn't know what today was gonna bring, but yeah. you know what? I woke up. I was, you know, was happy. I was ready to attack the day. <laughs> I'm ready for the game tomorrow. The I don't yes. know. Yes. about it. No, we're it's about like, to talk about I'm that. I'm here for a reason. I'm. That's right. I'm being presented with opportunities That's that like. Right. Some people would only dream of, but you know what? For me, like, I want people to know that I, I appreciate it. I don't take it for granted. Yeah, I love and, that. Uh, yeah, I just, I really want to continue to inspire. I love that. And I feel like you got to do that with a smile on your face. Because if I walked around with my, you know, yeah. you know shoulders slumped, exactly. it was like, oh, I was like, and just being open to stuff. Like, I you know. came up and said, hey, do you want to do it? Of course I do. That's right. Of Why? Because, you did. and this is another, this is another thing, right? There might be somebody watching that has no idea who I am. Yeah. No idea. Or maybe recognize well, me from back then. Well, they're going to start looking you up and following you now. And our music. And it's yes. like, that's, this is the thing. I'll leave, yeah. I want to tell you this. My brothers are the hardest workers that I know. I love that. Those guys work harder than me. And people know that I work hard. Yeah. But my brothers are the machine. Yeah. They're at home working on our next song. Yeah working on our next TikToks that yeah. we're about to post for our music. Yeah. I'm out here promoting us and talking about us, but those guys are the ones that are really work, you know, doing it. I want to make them proud. I want them to have, you know, look back and, and say that, hey, we're doing this for a reason. I you know? Absolutely. I love it. So anyway, I you, can talk and talk. No, you I know. It. And you're so wonderful. I want to know, I want you to tell everybody, because you are here 
in Las Vegas for a, a besides for being on the Kelly Beam show. Besides, besides, I came this. for this. That's right. So you're we, here. We'll this say was that. your first, you know, thing to yeah, do. Yeah, this. But this was priority. <laughs> this was the priority. But you were actually here for a really fun event. So tell us a little bit about that. That's happening tomorrow. Tomorrow night. Yeah. Yes. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm excited now that you're saying, oh my gosh. I'm like, <laughs> so tomorrow night, I'm playing in the Celebrity Sweat flag football game. Yeah, that's fun. This, this is what you have to know. And 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 what position? Wide receiver. Nice. So two things. One, I've been saying this all day actually. Yeah. I feel, and I've, I've openly talked about this that. If when I right before high school, right before I went to high school, like right as I was doing parakeets, right before, yeah. I was a good football player. Yeah, I was good, but I was shorter in stature. Yeah. But I always felt that I wanted to play football in high school. I yeah. knew I would have been a standout. Yeah, but I was shorter in stature, and I know wide receivers are tall, football players are tall. I mean, I am short. I'm sh I'm short for my age. Yeah. I'm short, but I have a tall. I'm tall on the inside. Absolutely, <laughs> you're humongous on the I'm inside. I'm humongous on the inside. I'm a giant. On the you inside. are. You are. But, <laughs> yeah, I have a giant personality. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, I knew that maybe football with my you know short stature that it might be out of the cards for me. At the same time, I was being presented to be on TV. So I'm like, look, my mindset was. I could play football or baseball in a movie. Uh, exactly. Or on TV. That's My right. very first feature film, yeah. I played baseball in. Yeah. A few movies later, I did a movie called Mostly Ghostly. I yeah. played soccer in. Yeah. I played sports in the films. Nice. With that being said, Amazing. you get where I'm leading. Now, I'm in the celebrity flag football game yeah. and I'm playing in the game. I've wanted to play in this game for over five years. This is incredible. And I get to do that tomorrow because. I <laughs> took a chance and made it happen. That's right. So tomorrow I'm taking it really serious. I okay. train every day for yeah. it. Oh, um, it's, yeah. Um, and uh, hopefully, I've been hyping it up. Hopefully, we score some touchdowns. Oh, so you will. You will. Okay, so two more quick questions. Um, what advice would you give uh, young people who are, are wanting to pursue acting? That, great question, by the way. Um, I would say if you're, if you're, you know, young actor, or even those that are not young actors, exactly and starting late in the game. Yeah. I didn't start late in the game, but I know a lot of people that yeah. are slash trying now. Yeah. Later, um, you just gotta practice. Yeah. And I'll say something that I kind of said earlier that I was just kind of reminded recently. We're at the point in in the industry now; it's very different and it's changed a lot absolutely it has changed like yeah tremendously and you've seen it. even for me yeah it's been very tough for me even yeah. too which yeah. is why i wrote my next film yeah sometimes you just can't wait anymore no because my advice is not just to those that are trying to be an actor my advice is to anybody whatever you want to do you got to take it into your own hands yeah, yeah. you got to do it yourself yeah you have to start controlling the outcome Completely and agree. that's what i'm still learning yeah i'm still learning because i'm still trying to do it yeah but you got to start you know controlling the outcome and in this industry it's so up and down yeah. it's so here there and you just never know yeah. i go in you have a great reader you meet a director and you think oh my gosh we hit it off we're yeah. great yeah. this is gonna be a great you know partnership it's gonna yeah. be a great dance yeah. and you don't get it exactly you go with somebody else. yeah i'm like look at this point i'm just gonna i'm gonna write my next movie i'm gonna I write the role for me it. that i want to play that is exactly right okay so ryan one last question yes i'm excited you, a big, is this the one big, that you were gonna nope, ask earlier? i already asked, that was the one i would just ask you oh wow which okay. is very important for me to ask you that i want to ask you if you had one superpower what would it be one superpower this is a, like this is like a go-to question all the time. I never know. Um, I just honestly, I have to say, I would love to fly. Yeah, that's very popular. It's here. just, it's a popular. Yeah. So, I'd love to. I hear you know invisibility a lot, but I don't want to be invisible. Like I want people to see. I want to. Yeah. I want to shine. I want yeah. people to. Be, 
I would love to fly. Yeah, I just to that. be able to go out and just fly, like yeah, and go like, where you want right then. Yes, like yeah. just to float in the air, <laughs> not even fly, just to be able to like float to the top and just oh, overlook and like. Oh, I'm going to go just float over everybody and check out that side of the room. Exactly. Like, that would be so cool to Wouldn't me. that be fun? I love that you answer. Know? I love yeah. that answer. Okay, Ryan, really quickly, I got a parting gift for you. Yes. Okay, so this oh. is from our sponsor, Serendipity Yacht Cruises and Events. We are giving you a power bank for you to keep in your pocket, and it is ready to go. It is ready. It's it, fully charged. It's fully charged. Now, look. It is the one where it has the cords right in it, all like five different cords, so it'll fit any phone, anything you need to charge it for. It's ready to go. Wow. Yeah. How cool is that? I saw this yesterday. Just so you guys know, I saw this yesterday. Nice. And I was like, I could use one of these. <laughs> I'm so bad when it comes to charging stations yes. and stuff. All my brothers are like, and I've never had one. Oh, well, there you go. Now I do. We just gave you one right here. On the Thank you so show. much. You're so welcome. Guys, Ryan, I cannot thank you enough for stopping by. This has been so nice. You're amazing. Oh, thank you. And we're going to be too. cheering you on. Everybody go look him up. Ryan Ochoa, how can they find you on social media? So I'm at, at Ryan Ochoa on Instagram, yeah. at Ryan Ochoa Official on okay. TikTok. Um, I am on Facebook. I don't really use Facebook. It's mainly just through Instagram, but it's yeah. uh, Official Ryan Ochoa. But, and I just started, this is the big one, I just started posting on YouTube again. I pretty much post every Wednesday. Okay. I miss this Wednesday, obviously, today, because yeah. I've been out here in Vegas. Yeah. But next Wednesday, I'll have a giant live vlog, basically. Yeah. It's it's the the life of one crazy rai ride, ride. That is my I YouTube love though. It. I The love number it. one crazy rai ride. Ride. <laughs> One crazy rai ride's life is crazy. So I vlog every week and just basically, like, a lot of it's going to be here in Vegas. I love it. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I'm excited <laughs> Definitely go sub to me on it's on, yes. on YouTube. Go follow him. He's in. Oh, and check out Ochoa Boys. Yeah, Ochoa, Ochoa Boys. O C H O A B O Y Z. On nice. All, all on everything and uh, Spotify and Apple Music. Ochoa nice. Boys. I love it. Okay, guys, another fun interview right here on the Kelly Bean Show and your home TV because we're live in Las Vegas on Radio Row because it's Super Bowl week. So stay tuned for more fun interviews coming up soon. And uh, y'all have an awesome and blessed rest of your day. See you later, Ryan. Dream wish believe.